Today we're gonna check out TCL's entire 2017 TV line. We're gonna start with the entry level, and as we move our way up, we're gonna discuss the different points of technology in each series TV, how that affects picture quality, and what it's like to use the TV. Let's dive right in. We'll start with the entry-level S305 series, which is extremely affordable. This series ranges in screen sizes from 28 to 49 inches, with the 28 and 32 inch sizes at 720p and everything up from there at 1080p. All models come packing the Roku OS Smart TV platform, which makes them especially enticing for streaming and easy to use. You'll note that the S305s don't come with an Ethernet port. They are Wi-Fi only, so they tend to be a little slower to install updates and new apps, but that's not much of an issue outside of the initial setup process. The series does come with a Roku remote, but there's no headphone jack on the side for private listening. Don't worry though, you can still use the Roku smartphone and tablet app for that, which is our preferred method anyway. The S305 has solid picture quality and really good color, but it's not a particularly bright TV. So if you need something that's gonna wage war with sunlight and glare in your room, you might want to take a step up. That brings us over here to the S405, the next step in TCL series. This is a TV that only costs a little bit more, but with that modest investment, you get a whole lot back. With this series, you get 4K Ultra HD resolution, standard HDR support, more intense brightness than the S305, and really solid color straight out of the box. As with all of TCL's TVs, it runs on Roku's OS and has the same remote as the S305 before it, but since it's a 4K HDR TV, it supports streaming 4K HDR from all the popular apps and grants you access to Roku's dedicated 4K content channel. Overall, this is a remarkably solid TV at a very nice price. Stepping up again, though, takes you to an entirely different level. This is TCL's premium P-series television, and it's got a lot of the same technology that you'll find in other manufacturers' flagship TVs, but at a fraction of the price. I am, quite frankly, shocked at how good this TV is. It offers both HDR10 and Dolby Vision support, and its color is really good out of the box. But if you let a calibrator take a whack at it, it is capable of getting extremely close to ideal color specs, just as the movie makers would want you to see their films. It's got a full array backlight system with 72 zones of local dimming. And what that means for you is excellent black levels and shadow detail, intense HDR brightness and color levels, and a very uniform picture across the screen. This TV is going to end up going down as a game changer in 2017, possibly one of the smartest picks this year. And finally, this is the C-Series. It's got a lot of the same technology and performance that you'll find in the P-Series I just raved about, but in a much sleeker package. Design was at the forefront of TCL's approach for this TV, and it shows. It's got a trim metallic bezel, it's got a flatter profile, so it's a little bit thinner than the other series, and it's got premium audio with these forward-facing speakers. In order to get this form factor, though, TCL had to go with an edge lighting scheme, so it doesn't have the direct LED backlights or local dimming, but it does do very well for an edge-lit TV, still achieving remarkable brightness and adding in Dolby Vision support. It's a great combination of premium picture quality and premium design that will really dress up your living room or bedroom. That's the TCL 2017 TV lineup, four distinct models with four distinct experiences, all based on the Roku OS platform. And because it's TCL, all of them super high value.